Marjorie Taylor Greene was the surprise guest at Mike Lindell's Moment of Tooth Dental Convention that he repeatedly referred to as a nonpartisan event because nothing says neutral like having the Trump one Georgia gremlin who wants to jail Fauci as the star attraction at your bizarro voting machine trial. If you programmed a computer to generate an AI creep, this would be the result. Look at that weird wave. And if you listen, no one's honking to support him. They are accelerating. They are getting to a safe spot so they can phone their daughters and say, stay away from this intersection. This is as awkward as Ron DeSantis standing. That's not an oddly positioned mannequin. That's DeSantis trying to be all alpha in this really weird pose. It is pouring MAGA tears. I dig into perjury trader Green trotting out the hits at Mike Lindell's Moment of Truth Summit. By popular demand, I have a new page from Lauren Boebert's book and have a laugh with the latest and stupid from Dr. Oz and check in with Alex and Marjorie in the bunker and more. Ted Cruz's sharp chin side piece tweeted, Fauci is stepping down in December to try and avoid scrutiny from a Republican House that will take over in January. Understand this loud and clear, Anthony. We are coming for you whether you retire or not. You will not get away with what you did to America. Naturally, I replied, going after the man who gave it all to try and help save the world is peak idiocracy, burnt bulb. I'll consider this to be your winning entry in the stupid contest with your dumb as a post husband. We're living in the most insane times. Yes, an insurrection encouraging elected official who makes Facebook posts about Jewish space lasers is at an event put on by a pillow manufacturer gone mad who thinks the Terminator films are documentaries. I proudly objected to Joe Biden's fraudulent electoral college votes on January 6th. I would do it again today, right now, and I would do it again tomorrow and again and again. Because I know President Trump won the election in 2020. You don't. He didn't. Again, confusing your beliefs with reality. With their COVID shutdown policies, they shut down church, they shut down schools, they shut down businesses. So many small businesses closed. People lost their jobs. People lost their lives, Marjorie. Millions. And you're complaining about the businesses that struggled? You know what makes businesses really struggle really struggle dead customers yeah people on the left they, they have nothing to run on you know right now they can't stand behind the policies that they're uh, that they they voted for and my message is i want to bring this uh the economy down i want to bring the gas prices down bring the grocery prices down try to solve some of the crime out on the street yes the chinese air guy wants to bring the economy down because when he brings the economy down then he can bring the price of gas and groceries down and solve crime. Do conservatives only want to elect cartoon characters? We welcome you, Holy Spirit. God, we just praise you, we bless you, we thank you. Holy are you, God. Holy are you, Jesus. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Holy, holy, holy. This one on the right, I mean, she's the lead crazy, but... I love the one on the left. She's very unsure what to do here. This is like when you go to a yoga class for the first time. You're trying to follow along, but you're also sort of embarrassed to be there. You just, you just don't know if you made the right decision. A nonpartisan event with one political party and one religion. Thanks so much to everyone who requested. I read another genuine page from Lauren's book, and uh, we're just going to grab one at random here. Stop. Let's go. Our meat-looking food had been waiting patiently in a sunny tub in the back of Jason with the Y's F-150, but our bun hunt was not going well. We were hungover from our night at the dance place, but it was worth it. I had some morning hot shifts to look forward to with great benefits like tax-free money and spiked drinks. The rodeo was tomorrow, and the buns were looking to be a dead end. Then Jason reminded me that when I got fired from McDonald's for throwing a milkshake at a senior citizen, I did not change. Yes, I did not change. 
I'm still that milkshake-throwing Colorado wildcat that loves a day drink and a good tussle. But I also did not change. I stormed out with my uniform, and it was going to be the gold ticket. We cracked a six-pack and began digging through the garage to find my uniform. Jason discovered a pile of skimpy little outfits from his ex and begged me to try them on. I was two coors in. So what the heck, right? Well, she must have been darn tiny because they would barely fit someone in middle school. I didn't even know they made naughty stuff for people this small. Jay Soy got a bit awkward about it all, then told me he ordered them from China with his computer. That man is super smart. After tearing them a little, I managed to kind of fit into two, an airplane waitress and a France maid. Jason got to work with a broomstick and some duct tape. I tried to ask what was up, but he was laser focused and it was intense enough that I just let him do his man stuff. He chained another Newport and walked over to the light switch and began flicking it off and on. At this point, I was fed up. Jason, what is going on? I shouted. He dusted off the ghetto blaster and pressed play and soon his Def Leppard CD filled the garage. He pointed to the broom and shouted over, pour some sugar on me. This is your new rehearsal space. He'd turned our dusty little garage into a romantic dance place, and this France maid began to sway through the flicking lights, Newport smoke, and work the makeshift wooden pole he so kindly made. It was like a fairy tale. I hope you've enjoyed this genuine page from Low Rent Booze Burp's latest book. Uh, if you have, please let me know in the comments and uh, I'll consider reading another page in the near future. Thank you. The woman Donald Trump wishes he could date tweeted, Breaking History is the number one bestseller on Amazon. Grateful that Americans are excited to read Jared Kushner's thrilling memoir of life in the White House. Naturally, I replied, remember when the RNC spent $300,000 on pallets of Dim Jr.'s self-published book and then handed them out to Trump donors so he could have a bestseller? We're living in a time where all of you and all of us are shamed for saying that the election was stolen or shamed saying that we don't believe the results. You absolutely should be shamed for crapping on democracy because your team lost. Absolutely. This is a very famous part of town, but not a very sanitary part of town. Dr. Oz went from pretending to complain about the price of crudite at Wegner's to attacking his opponent, saying if he had ever eaten a vegetable in his life, he wouldn't have had a stroke. And the thing is, that clip of Oz shopping is just getting popular now. People are sharing it. And I just want to note that we were all laughing about that clip on this channel here in April. We are ahead of the curve, folks. This is where it's at. You see, Democrat policies are ruining our country. We've got wide open borders. They're coming after our faith, our family, our freedoms, destroying our Second Amendment rights, completely destroying your First Amendment freedom of speech. None of this is true. And don't talk about freedom of speech when you're talking at a lunatic convention and we are seeing it on the regular internet, not like the secret internet. This is out there. Just want to say a big thanks for tuning in. This has been my last little while. I put it together to make this because these take a lot of work, but I have a lot of fun making them. And uh, seeing all your kind comments makes me feel better. Again, thank you for being there for me. I hope in many ways I'm there for you as well. Alex here, still in the bunker with Marjorie. Again, good dude. We got the Netflix password off Steve Bannon. And I'm new to this whole streaming thing. So when I saw that Bannon had a watch list, I gotta be honest, I thought that was going to be like a secret place. He stored the info for all the snowflake deep cover operatives he's following across the flat earth to prevent the Trudeau, Soros, Panda Express globalists. But it was just like a list of shows he enjoys. Fuller House, Paw Patrol, Is It Cake, Love is Blind, Emily in Paris. I let MTG pick our shows, and that blonde meat swamp loves Ozark, Squid Games, and Stranger Things. But I gotta tell you, the demon in the Upside Down looks so much like her feet that I'm just waiting for her to pursue legal action against the show. It is freaking me out, big time.
I hope that doesn't happen. I really do. Because we will have to prove we watched the show and that could incriminate Bannon because we shared the password. But the real horror is that they will need to see them. And that means she will be in court with exhibits A and B. The horrific Klingon forehead ankled kebab shop trimmings, hammered spam can, sarlacc pit toad, monkey pox shaman, stranger things demon, mated with mortadella meat stumps, looking feet. What is the rule? The socks stay on. The socks stay on. While so many people are scared to talk or they don't want to talk about the election or they're scared to get involved and they don't want to lose their social media, look at... Mike Lindell has been attacked in unbelievable ways. They have literally tried to destroy the man. Nobody has tried to destroy the man, but companies are allowed to choose who they want to do business with. These capitalists really hate capitalism. He says to be kind afters. He just made fun of our great real president, Don Jr., God, and Marjorie Taylor and Gren. Mega tears. Calling it here. The wedding ring is a prop. Nobody would touch this unfunny baldy. Maga tears. Oh, look at your pretending you are a comedy. Maga tears. Snowflake alert level infinity. Maga tears. Thanks so much for watching. Help me out by sharing this video or posting it on your social media. It'll cost you nothing and makes a huge difference for me. If you can afford to, please hit the super thanks button or tip me via PayPal and be sure to check out my mugs and stickers that go great with those MAGA tears. I am a stand-up comedian. I've played in 35 countries. I've supported Jim Jeffries on five of his tours. I have three albums on Spotify and Apple Music. Be sure to check them out. Life's short. Be cool. Be kind. Take care.